20 days, 19 days. So, I uh, no, I didn't do those because there was so much extra stuff on there that was not in the book and I was like, like I was like asking about like the pancreas function, the liver function, like all these like, like not like the book went into it a little bit, like I'm talking like super in depth and I was like, uh uh, nope, I like shut it off. I was like, absolutely not, not interested. I didn't do it. Yes, you have to pay to take the test. Yeah, the courses thing online was like a huge turnoff for me. Like I looked at it and I was like, mm-mm. Exactly, no, it was so bad. Like I looked at it and I was like, I'm gonna cry. I'm literally gonna, I'm about to cry right now just talking about it. Uh, take mine May 9th, oh, good luck. Uh, seriously, no, I will. Yes, I did proactively. Like, so when I first started, I did one chapter a week. Um, I like when I started in January, I like was doing one chapter a week. Okay, there's 12 chapters. So I did one a week and I focused on that one chapter all week. I looked over, I looked over, I did the test by subjects on it. Um, I did the, the QR code that you scan in the back of the chapter. And then as it got closer, then I like, I made a Quizlet for every single chapter with the board alerts on it. So then I would do everything. I would do Andy's book. I would do the um, rapid fire questions and I would do my Quizlet and I would write down things I got wrong. Um, anytime I got the question wrong, I'd write it down. And then I did the back of the book each time. And then for this last week straight, I've done every chapter every day. So if I don't pass, there's a freaking problem. Um, sorry, something I Yeah, no, they told us to study at least like two to three months. So make sure you know your science prereqs. Um, I know microbiology like really good. A and P, eh. Yeah. There is no A and P in here. So like, I, if it's not in here, it's not in here. Um, so I thought about sharing my Quizlet, but I spent like hours and hours and hours of like taking the material and turning it into questions and making things that like, if I do share the Quizlet, I think I might do it as like a paid thing. Like you pay like one time and you get access to everything because that took so long and I just like don't want to just be like, oh, you know? Um, I studied a month with Andy RDH book and seminar. Thank you. And I went to the in-person seminar and I thought it was great. If you are in dental hygiene school and you are like going to be taking your board exam, go in person, like go in person. Like I'm telling you, you're not going to sit there and you're not going to watch 30 hours of recorded lecture. No one's going to do it. Yeah. Any advice for radiology? Oh my gosh. Hey, I only studied what this thing said about it, so and it was very cut and short, so um, I'll find out my results in two to three weeks. Um, well, <laughs> do you have any time for your friends and family? You have to make time, and like clinic days are not the time. Like when I get home from clinic, like mind you, I get to clinic around like 7.20, and sometimes I'm there until... 620 like five between five and six so I don't want to talk to anybody I don't even want to look at anybody I don't want anybody to even ask me how my day was after doing that all day long like I <laughs> I come home from clinic and I go straight in the bath and shut the door and I'm like no one's home. I just want to sit in silence and I want to decompress but the days that I have classes, I try to still like, like I, I didn't study the days I had classes. I studied the days that I didn't, like on the weekends and stuff. <laughs> uh, what, let's assume my program still emphasize on film processing. I know, and it's in the board book, but it's only like the steps in the board book, so. Yeah, no, it's, it's hard to relax in hygiene school because there's like constantly things. Yeah, I know hepatitis, the A&E fecal oral, the ones that have vaccines, the ones that don't, how they're transmitted. Got hep down. Um, my hardest class in hygiene school, the hardest class was 
probably dental materials because it freaking sucked. It was so boring. And like, I, I just like couldn't get into it and I really couldn't get into it studying either. Like, it, I was just like zoned out like during the class. Like, it just was so hard for no reason. I do know my medications. I know the suffixes. Um, oh, great. So whatever, I am just, I'm not even gonna worry about it. I'm not even gonna worry about any of the stuff that's not in this book. Really? What study thing did you use, Angela? The ethics in this was so quick. Like, it, it was so easy. Like, it was just like assault, battery, negligence. Like, it was like three pages. Like, it was like so quick. Like, I was like, um, no, no one used student RDH. No one in my program used it the, fall, the past year. I think maybe two people did on top of Andy. Everyone used Andy and everybody passed. Um, I don't <laughs> feel confident I'm faking it. <laughs> um, I, I didn't get any questions about film, but I did get a question about the x-ray to your pen. Yeah, definitely getting that book. So many of my coworkers is in pass on the first drive. <laughs> Take my boards this fall, good luck. Yeah, I don't know, it's just like a lot. I, I don't know, like, and I didn't look at anything that wasn't bold. If it wasn't bold, I did not look at it. I was like, uh, no ma'am. There's already too much in here. If it's not bolded, I'm not looking at it. I'm just not. Um, yeah, I, I know everybody did Andy. Um, no one is, we all take it together on Thursday. So, uh, my worst class was dental materials because it was so boring. <laughs> But I feel like I'm going crazy. Like, the amount of studying I've done is absolutely unreal. Staying up so late, like, I have gone blind from my computer screen looking at questions. Like, I'm just like, like, I swear, like, I need my glasses all the time now because how blind I've gotten. April 5th. Yeah, I've heard that too, but I'm not going to hardcore study tomorrow, but I am going to briefly go over everything, like look at it. And then I've been like writing down like, like what I'm going to write on my, like, this is so sloppy, like don't judge, but like what, as soon as I get my like whiteboard or my like piece of paper or whatever they give me, this is what I'm writing down. Like, this is exactly what I'm writing down. So I think tomorrow I'm just gonna see if I wanna add anything to this, like, sheet, and then I'm gonna rewrite it, like, a couple times until, like, I know it, like, really, really good. Which I do know it, but, like, I don't know, like, it's random. Yeah, I know. Um, what are my writing on my whiteboard? Okay, so I did the fluoride chart. So I like wrote that it's in this corner. I wrote it like multiple times, like the fluoride chart, um, blood pr pressure. Um, then there's a blood pressure for ASA. So I did that, which I saw it in the back of the book and it wasn't in like the actual like book part but like if you go in the very very back of the andy book there was like a chart and it had blood pressure asa classifications and those are completely different than the other ones so i put those down and then i did the vitamins so i wrote like b1 b2 b3 like like all like whatever the vitamins and then i wrote next to it what they are because I already know what they do, but like I'm gonna sit there and I'm gonna second guess like be whatever and I just need to look at it like fast. And then I did the cranial nerves all the way down and then sensory or motor next to it. Um, and then I did all of these are medication suffixes and then pre-med. That's what I did for my cheat sheet. So blood pressure classifications, the fluoride chart, the vitamins, like, and what they are, cranial nerves, sensory or motor, suffixes for medications, blood pressure ASA, because that's different from the blood pressure classification, the blood pressure ASA classification, and then pre-med. 
That's what I wrote on my cheat sheet. If anybody has anything else they think I should add to it, let me know. But I wrote it like so fast, so it looks like crap. <laughs> I it was for the pre-med all I had wrote was like doxy 100 milligrams amoxicillin 2000 milligrams cephalex and whatever 500 milligrams I did it like very like just that like just like what the milligram dosage were yes I do know the GV black classifications I didn't even worry about like writing it down because I've got it like here so good um what classification system are you using to diagnose perio in the case studies I have no idea what Whatever's in this book. <laughs> I got mine in person when I went to Andy Board Review. They gave me my book in person. So I didn't have my border book until like two weeks after everybody else did. 